Schneiderman. Does whatever a spider can. Look out. Here comes Schneiderman. All right, Saints supporters, thanks for, for joining us. Today we've got the greatest man of all, Lenny Hayes. Lenny, it's a pleasure. I'm, uh, it's a real honour actually for me to even to get you in here, and I know everyone's really wanted you here, so thanks for giving us your time, mate. It's taken you three weeks to give us a bit, but good to have you. Um, first of all, Lenny, just going to run over a bit of your history, mate. You played, what, 275 games, three best and fairest, three-time All-Australian, captain 04-07, uh, a Norm Smith medalist. There's not much I haven't ticked off, is there, buddy? Uh, there is, yeah. Um, I, look, no, I've, I've been lucky enough over a number of years to play in some good sides and, and play, you know, a lot of footy. Um, so, yeah, obviously, you know, it'd be nice to win a flag, um, get that premiership medallion, which you've done at another club. But, um, yeah, I've, I've been pretty lucky over my career, I suppose. Beautiful. All right, so what we'll do now, we'll get stuck into the questions from you guys. The first one is from Mark Sherry. Joey said you've got the smelliest feet in the team. Is this true? <laughs> Um, yeah, look, it's probably, uh, look, I'll, I'll say one thing, I'm yet to meet a footballer who's got good smelling feet, so mine probably do smell a bit as well, um, whether I'm the worst in the team, that's probably debatable, Snides, but if Joey says it, I'm willing to cop it. Fair point. Uh, mate, a question from Jason Foote, a lot of people want to know this, will you play on next year? I'm um, still probably undecided, Schneids, which is the honest truth. So I, I sort of said that it's been a bit of a frustrating year injury-wise, so I just wanted to string some games together and I thought that would give me a better indication. So, um, look, I'd, lo I'd love to keep playing, but there's a few things to, to consider um, before the season's out as well. Beautiful. Good answer. Question from Jason Millett. Who is the most influential player slash coach who has helped you in your career? P.S. You're a legend. <laughs> Good question, mate. Um, most influential player, probably Robert Harvey. When I first got to the club, he sort of, you know, obviously it was a gun midfielder, you know, dual Brownlow medalist, and, and just the way that he worked, and um, he sort of took me under his wing a little bit as well. So he's probably the most influential, influential player. Coach, probably Ross Lyon. Um, probably him and Grant Thomas, you know, they're the probably longest serving coaches that I've played under at the club. Um, Grant sort of came in when I was a youngster, and he probably knew how to get the best out of myself and then, you know, obviously had a really good relationship with Ross Lyon as well. Good one, good question. Right, this one's from Brett Sterling, one of my favourites, I like this one. Um, you've been the face of some clothes companies, Lenny. What is your best blue still look? P.S. You can never retire, never. Now, I've, got, I've done a bit of research on you, mate. You've done a bit in the past. Uh, I found one photo of you, of your blue still look. <laughs> Can you give us your best impression of what you reckon you look like if you're a model? No, just you as a model. Come on. Um, Turn around and give us a little okay. look back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was bad. Oh, that's perfect. Thanks, Lenny. <laughs> oh, God. All right. This question here is from, I have to apologise if I get this wrong, Rabbi Saba Sergarian. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I'm hopeless at spelling if you haven't learnt. Might be right. But go oh, on. I imagine it was. But go on. Um, if the team went bungee jumping, which player's rope would you cut off? Jeez, oh, I don't know if I'd cut anyone's rope off. Jeez, um, maybe Milne if I was going to keep him quiet for a little while. But, yeah, I don't know if I'd cut anyone's, mate. That's pretty harsh. Yeah, I know. You do love everyone, mate, and that's where everyone loves you because you're too nice. All right, mate, can you just give everyone your, uh, your date of birth and your full name? 14th of the 1st, 1980, and full name is Leonard Carey Hayes. It's actually Leonard, not Lenny? It's actually Leonard. Yeah, that's why I said it, yeah. Does your mum get disappointed everyone calls you Lenny and not Leonard? Um, no, not really. I'd, I only ever get called Leonard by my mum if I'm in trouble, so, which was a fair, fair bit early days, but no one really calls me Leonard. No. Okay, that's nice. Well done, Leonard. Uh, <laughs> Uh, quickly, mate, quickly run down where you grew up. Uh, you play in league country? Yeah, grew up in Sydney. Um, so I grew up in a place called Eastwood. They've got their own rugby union side in the, in the competition up there. Um, but, yeah, played all my junior footy at Pennant Hills. Beautiful. And also, mate, tell us a bit about your family life. You're married now for two years, roughly, I think. Yep. And, um, yeah, anything, anything, anything new in the, the family edition? Um, yeah, been married to Tara for a couple of years. Um, and, yeah, we're expecting our first child... Um, in December, so pretty excited about that. Beautiful, let's hope it's a boy for all the Saints fans out there. Oh, that would be good, mate. Just want a happy, healthy baby, but um, yeah, 
Well, Good luck, mate. Um, now, also, mate, we know everyone loves you. Everyone loves Lenny. And we're sick of hearing it. But the boys actually know the truth. Now, mate, uh, you did go through some serious stuff at the end of last year, heart surgery, or two years ago, heart surgery. Just tell us quickly how you felt with that and how, you, how you're coping now. Um, yeah, coping really well, mate. Yeah, it was um, a bit of a shock at the time. Found out sort of pre-season last year. Um, so, yeah, it didn't really affect me day to day. I didn't really have any symptoms, but it was just something that, you know, I had to, had to get fixed. Um, operation was pretty full on, but, you know, I've had a few big operations in the past and once you sort of get out of the initial stuff, it's all good and haven't had any problems or any checkups or anything, it's all, all fine. So, no dramas, mate. Beautiful, good to hear, you're a freak. Now, mate, there's been a rumour going, it's not a rumour, this is actually a fact. You have the longest toes I've ever seen. Can we please see them? And what is the go with them? Look, I don't, the, a lot of kids watch this show, I don't <laughs> want to scare them. Um, but I will say that, yeah, my feet aren't my greatest feature, <laughs> along with my crooked nose. I get teased about a fair bit. Um, so, yeah, look, you do need a thick skin to play AFL footy because I constantly get bagged. And there's probably a few other things that I probably can't say on TV that I get bagged about. Um, but, yeah, that's just, that's just me, I suppose. Yeah, everyone's different, mate, and I've got fingers as toes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well done. Now, you also get a bit of flack from the boys about your hair, uh, the old wave. Now, it's actually not looking too good at the moment. It's a bit short, yeah. but you're known to have a good wave. you're getting a haircut today, but I just had a share. And, um, yeah, you know, that's probably another thing. I'll cop a bit of crap over, but if that's the best the boys have got, it's not too much to worry about. You know, it looks a little bit like Armos. Oh, yeah, that's disappointing if it does. So <laughs> yeah. we're going to have to do something about that. Um, yeah, but I've always had sort of pretty thick hair, which is a bit annoying. Like it, so it gets really buffy and have to put a bit of product in it and all that sort of stuff. So. And is it actually red hair, just to clear it up for everybody? Uh, look, it, it, it occasionally gets a bit of a tinge <laughs> um, just in the sun or if I've washed it. So hence I don't wash it too often, which probably isn't that good either, is it? No, that's fine, though. I don't mind it. Uh, tell everyone an interesting, interesting fact about you that we don't know. Um, interesting fact, I was quite good at playing the didgeridoo, which most people probably didn't know until I got my nose broken about two or three years ago. So you need to be able to circular breathe. And since I've had that, I'm not very good at it. So I can still play it, but not quite as good as what I used to be able to. Is that legit? Yeah, it's legit. Good one. Didn't know that. No, I didn't. That's, That's interesting. It was interesting. Doesn't help you now, but anyway. Um, are you superstitious at all? Um, oh, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm overly superstitious. There's a couple of things that I do game day that, I, well, yeah, in saying that, <laughs> I do like having the same locker that Eddie had, which is sort of in the corner and it's got a little bit more space. And I didn't, there's one game this year that I, I didn't have it. Someone else had sort of put their stuff in there. I thought, oh, it doesn't matter. And that's a game that I got injured. So for the rest of the year, I've been in that locker. So yeah. I, could, I guess you could say I am. Yeah. You are. Good. Now, mate, also to the boys and to the crowd, the fans out there, you can sing a song. There's one song you know every word to it. Can you give us a chorus to it now, please? Oh, God. What's the song, What's the song called first? Yeah, well, it's, it's Regulate by Warren G. And I blame my sister for that because she was sort of into that sort of rap music when I was growing up. And she used to play it in her car. She used to drive me around at footy training and a bit of stuff like that. So, Can you give us 30 seconds? 10, I'll give, just make it 15. I could try. It's pretty embarrassing. All right, okay. Um, regulators, regulate any stealing of his property were damn good too, but you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with a stealer if you know what I mean, earn your keep. Regulators, mount up. It's a clear black night, a clear white moon. Warren G was on the streets trying to consume some skirts from the east so I could get some fawns <laughs> rolling on my Chilling all around, just hit the east side of the LBC on a mission trying to farm. Mr. Warren G seen a car full of girls and a knee to tweak, so we. And that's it, that's all I got. <laughs> oh, this is going to come back and haunt me, isn't it? Forever. I needed some backup there. We that was, I was laughing, sorry, you lost me. Well done, Lenny, that was great. Um, we'll quickly wrap this up. Uh, a couple of hobbies, any hobbies outside of footy? Um, I love playing golf with your good self, but you've gotten too good now, so, you know, you, you always take my money. Um, and I also, yeah, I actually like playing FIFA on the PlayStation. With nerd. nerd. Bit of a nerd like that, but um, yeah. Uh, mate, quick last two questions to go. What's one of your biggest fears? Um, retirement and probably, probably heights.
Yeah, I, I hate heights. No, very good. And last one for all the supporters out there. Where do you reckon you'll be in five years? Are you going to be coaching St Kilda? Uh, look, I don't know, to be honest. I'd, I'd, I'll definitely be involved in footy in some, in some capacity, but I might be assistant coach to you, mate. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Get me a job. <laughs> so I'm not playing footy in a couple of years? Like... Uh, you've got four in you. No, all good. <laughs> all right, Lenny, mate, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Nods. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed Lenny Hayes, and uh, we'll see you next week. There you have it, guys. One of the greatest St Kilda players of all time, Lenny Hayes. Hope you enjoyed him. And uh, just for fact, he does have very long toes. This week, guys, we've got, um, we're going to give you the option of, of the five Toms. So we're going to have Tom Lee, Tom Hickey, Tom Ledger, Tom Simpkin, or Tom Curran. So send through your votes, and I'll see you next week. Go the Saints. Schneider Man. Schneider Man. Does whatever a spider can. Look out. Here comes Schneider Man.